it's been a while since I've actually purchased anything from the Supreme store. Usually when I get stuff on there, when I get stuff from the collection, I usually always buy it on resale because I guess it's stuff that everyone, everyone, everyone else wants. Um, or it's older stuff that I might find on eBay. But this time around, I thought, why not buy a bag just so I can kind of have something to kind of use when I go and DJ sometime. Even though so far the gigs have still been absolutely dry <laughs> in that regard. I still wanted to have like a little bag that I could use where I could chuck in my headphones, chuck my USBs in there, cables, you know, periphery devices, whatever I need to put in there. And I've mentioned it before, I think on a pod, that um, patter bag that they have, right? remember i think i mentioned it before the pata dj bag i think they've got a new one now they've had one in gray they had one in black sorry before but now they've got one in gray oh i might have to get this actually it's still in stock nice to see and they got it in black too no way they've got it in black okay let me get up on the screen first so i'm not wasting any of your time so this is the site the pattern of sound system utility dj bag let me just write here and see if they've got other colors of it if it's just that one. Oh no they've got two it's black in stock. They got the black back in stock. It looks like interesting. Okay. So anyway, yeah. So that the plan was to go get another DJ bag um, that I could use because at the moment my uh, places and faces bag that I usually was using is a bit busted. This one here is a little bit busted and it's kind of gone to shit. You know, it's not it's not in its best condition in the world. Don't get me wrong, but it's held me down for quite a long time. I need to get something different I could use to kind of throw my headphones in, you know, these, my phonons, whatever, right? And my USB sticks and, you know, whatever else I use when I go out and about. And this DJ bag was pretty decent in terms of the shape, the compartments, the zip, you know, um, how sturdy it looked, blah, 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 blah. And it was pretty popular when it first dropped. Um, and somehow they've restocked it. Crazy, isn't it? Our last year's release to the, the modifier. Okay, cool. So I guess they restocked it or maybe they found some lying around or maybe they remade. I'm not too sure because I did remember they made this one, which is the update to it. And it felt like to me that they updated some bits and pieces on it or am I mistaken? Maybe they did, maybe they did. I'm not too sure. But anyway, regardless, the grey and the, they've got two. They've got like a classic sort of head portal colorway combo one with the grey with the orange on the inside. Maybe you would say it's an MA1, I'm not too sure. But yeah, that's a pretty decent DJ bag, right? That's what I wanted to get. So I'll probably end up still getting it. But for the time being, I thought, let me know. Why not sorry, sample what Supreme has to sell? And I decided to get one. It's like a mini side bag, but unfortunately it's too small for my headphones. I'll just have to use it as a normal bag, but it's this one here. It comes with a free water bottle that I've got over there somewhere, a little nag, nag, naglagin, whatever, plastic. So it's pretty decent value. You get a decent little side bag like that, and you get a free little water bag with it. So it's not too shabby in it, right? As you can see there, it's not too shabby, but unfortunately, the main compartments and whatnot, they're just too small to fit in a pair of headphones or whatnot. Do you know what I mean? It's obviously enough to fit in, you know, a couple of baggies of cat or whatnot, whatever else you want to put in there, a flip knife, some lip gloss, some nail polish or your pearl necklace or whatever the kids wear nowadays. That's all going to fit in there. But in terms of actually having a pair of headphones and whatnot, it's not going to fit. But I just, it's a good reminder to, to see how well made these bags are that they put together. I mean, obviously Cordor and stuff, but the Supreme bags are really well made. Like this is a very well constructed bag like pretty 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 good sturdy as hell like this is one of the things that i always keep an eye on whenever i'm like scooping for stuff on like yahoo auctions for like old supreme stuff i'm always looking at the bags always the old bags especially the ones i like you know <sighs> from like 2015 you know and before that that those bags are like some of the best bags honestly the quality is great like even if it's got like seven owners like it's legitimately bulletproof i've had pretty decent ones i've still kept for a long time that really have kind of served me well over the years so yeah just a shame it's too small though at the moment this one i've got here at the moment so i'm gonna have to probably get um the messenger bag that they have listed i think on the site maybe that might have to be the one that i get maybe it's a messenger bag i think i might have to end up getting but yeah this is the i'll show you on the screen but this is the one i got this side bag right as you can see it comes with a little free bottle if you want to use that but i've got my own i just took that one out it's a bit lame having a bottle that it's already lame as it is carrying a supreme bag you know 
with the logo and stuff on it you know it's a bit cringe so having the bottle that you've been sucking on with your supreme hat on as well with your little what um matthew williams swoosh necklace on you just like an absolute done done i would have done that when i was 18 i've been feeling you know my best self but nowadays nope so most likely i have to get another one which will end up being if i'm not mistaken it'll end up being one of those it might be the small messenger bag but you know for the bag so far the bags are amazing in this collection so so good the backpack is flipping brilliant of course the backpack in gray the duffel bag's better as well so you know it might be a, a thing of where i just get all of them but the next one might have to be to get what to be like a dj bag thing it might have to be this little small messenger bag i think that will fit because i'm pretty sure this is a lot more what's the actual milliliters of this the one that i've actually got uh, it's meant to be 2.5 liters so let's check that so that small messenger bag which i might get in the same color what, what color do you think i should get it in let's say i got it in the same color what, what what how many liters is that okay yeah nine so yeah this would be way more way uh this would be a uh, more than more than enough to fit my headphones and whatnot in it um the little messenger bag to put all my things and then whatnot i think it's got a little velcro strap on the back as well. so a little velcro pocket at the back as well to put extra things in but yeah that should be more than enough to fit everything in so it'll be a combination of this probably i'd get maybe i'll get another gray or should i get a gray or brown i don't know maybe i'll get in a gray or swap it around not too sure don't want to get in a black of course because that's boring um and then of course maybe change it and get that yeah so if i get a gray in that pattern utility bag for the headphones maybe i'll get that in the in the brown just to match this but yeah that's basically what i got and then the other thing i got from supreme was was the photo tee of course you know where is it just yeah one second one second where is it i'll show you are you going to show me or am I going to show you? There we go. Yeah. Yeah, got it. Yeah, so it's this. It's the Al Green t shirt. That's what I've got as well. So that one. But, you know, that'll probably wait until the summer to get that out. And in general, you know, I'm not a guy that kind of wears my stuff straight away. I'll, I buy loads of stuff and just leave it in the flipping cupboard in its flipping packaging until it needs to be actually worn out or whatnot. But, yeah, Al Green t shirt as well. That's what I've got. But that's about it, really, isn't it? Al Green. Little side bag. They sent this as well, which is quite cool. Do you remember this when you were younger? It's these little uh, sweets, these little um, necklace things that we used to have back in the day. You'd have them. I remember I used to have them as bracelets. Or sometimes if you were if you were a real fag <laughs> and you were really gay for the girl that you loved, or you were really gay for that girl, um, you would give her one of these bracelets or necklaces as like a form of relationship you know love you know adoration whatever it may be um bracelets i wonder if girls thought that was creepy back in the day guys giving them passing them cards of like do you like me yes or no and sending them roses or do you remember back in, the day in school we used to have this thing where we'd have like a section in our school newspaper or magazine i forgot or it's like a gazette i don't know what it was like a little thing they used to give to a school um i know that sounds like i went to a posh school but i didn't uh, you know a school, a school in the hood it wasn't anything posh at all but uh because that does sound posh it? we had like a little gazette that we used to have but yeah no there'll be a section in there and you'd be able to put down people valentines that you'd that you'd want to you know let them know that you know would you be my valentines and it's always funny because always the the cutest the cutest guys or girls will obviously get the most like you know um flipping notes in there but sometimes you know ghouls like myself flipping ogres like myself would sometimes get the odd mention here and there but then if you were really trying to be a scrappy guy you just go out and buy you know whoever you'd liked one of these little bracelets and hand it to them or not you know what i mean it's just a little funny thing but yeah this brings back some big big burn memories but yeah that was included and then of course a couple of stickers as well in the packet as well but yeah um and pretty decent you know fast shipping from you your firm what you call it from uh, supreme everything sent via us ups if i'm not mistaken so that was fairly quick um so yeah big up then for getting that over and done with um yeah so i'm looking forward to getting a franklin gloves hopefully those will be something that no one else is gonna put oh yeah something i mentioned too i was able to buy this stuff all without even having to wake up early or anything i guess my selection is not the greatest and most expensive and most hypey don't get me wrong but it's interesting to see 
how often the stuff hangs around on the site now. I know maybe because they've got different locations now and they're probably having to make more of their products to fulfill these different locations. I would imagine even, you know, even though James J.B. back in the day was ridiculously well known for being super tight about how much they produce and how much they make, you know, with the investment, you're just going to have to give up something, you know, you're going to have to give up the reins or something. And, you know, they're expanding all the time. They've got new stores opening up all over the place. They probably got more planning to be open soon. They're making big hires, like, you know, collaborations coming out of their ass. Like they're going to have to be producing more. And I think that's why you can go online now and buy stuff without having to like wait without having to wake up at like seven in the morning or I don't know, whatever else we have to do back in the day. You have different tabs open, refreshing stuff, buying stuff on your phone, like you could just buy it quite easily if you need but i'm sure it's some of the normal classic shit like the camp cats with the box logo the box logo hoodies t-shirts collaboration stuff you know not faces that will always sell out quickly but you could probably still buy a lot of it without needing a bot you can probably if you've got a decent internet connection and you know when stuff drops usually you'd be fine i know nowadays they don't do those um back in the day you could cheat it because you could just use the same product description or url they'd use on the you remember that thing that was a little hack on supreme you could basically use i think the url of or yeah of whatever the, the the item was listed at in this preview you could paste that in and then when it dropped it could you know you can basically put an alert on your chrome that could let you know when it dropped or something you know something on the lens i'm not sure if i'm explaining it well but nowadays if i'm not mistaken it's a bit harder because the urls are just random letters it's not it's not something you could easily sort of like um hack and figure out but yeah still decent buying experience it's still it's still weird though because even though I'm, i've kind of grown over i've kind of kind of not grown out of the brand but you know i'm into I'm, i buy loads of other stuff now but still because supreme was my, my first supreme the hundreds do see what i can think of supreme hundreds do see maybe even obey i would say as in my yeah no let's say my first introduction to actual streetwear was like supreme the hundreds obey do see um the fresh jive mighty healthy and diamond and co supply yeah diamond supply and co like those six seven brands were legitimately my introduction to streetwear they kind of you know informed all of my interest at that early age and kind of opened a whole new world to me and exposed me to all the different people i traveled the world off that and like, it really i owe a lot to streetwear that's why I'm, i fiercely defend it which is why it's funny even now my grown age i still get excited when stuff like this drops or comes in you know what i mean when i put an order through i get an update when it's coming like it still feels you a little butterfly it's like oh my god i can't believe it's coming it's coming it's coming it's a bit it's a bit gay but you know i love it I love it still. Cannot lie. Um, 